morning, everyone. This is Elaine from Annabella's. Welcome back to floss tube number 51. After taking a three week break, I am so happy that you're here and that you tuned in again to spend some time with me. If you are a new viewer, welcome to my channel. This is a channel primarily about cross stitching and paper crafting, a little bit of quilting, and a little bit of my life thrown in. So I'm glad you're here. I hope you will subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified of any new videos or news um, that I share. So welcome. We had a very busy holiday season. I got to see all of my children and all of my grandchildren. My sister came into town and spent some time with me and it was just a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, I am very, very blessed. And if you follow me on social media, the links are below, uh, you'll see lots of pictures that I'm not gonna share today because I have so many other things to share with you. But there's lots of pictures of the kids and, uh, and Terry and just some fun things if you're so inclined. So thank you. And you can always connect with me on Facebook and Instagram and uh, of course YouTube. And then we're starting more TikTok this year so um, whatever your fancy is, feel free to connect with us there as well. So, wow, do I have so much to share with you. Today, I'm going to be doing my winter whip parade. I'm going to be sharing with you some finishes. Uh, Annabella's has a brand new product launch that I'm launching today. So I'll be sharing that with you. Uh, we have some new fabric that came in, some new charts, just a lot. So I hope that you will grab a pen grab a piece of paper, grab your favorite beverage, you know, get your stitching out and stitch along as I as I just kind of jump right in here and uh, bring you up to date. So I think what I'm going to do is start with my finishes because I only have two uh, that I'm going to show you now and then I'll show you two uh, when I show you the product launch later. So the first one is, this is Country Cottage Needleworks uh, January Sampler. So I did, you know, get this finished and I have it in a frame by Cheeky Sheep. Uh, they are an Etsy shop. Um, this frame is, you know, perfect for this entire series. Um, so I will go ahead and give you the link below. Uh, I don't have this pattern in stock right now. I'll get it in later this week but this is Country Cottage Needleworks. This is her monthly sampler series, and this one is January. And I just had so much fun stitching it. It was very, very cute. So we have that. And then I did finish um, Gathering Snowflakes by uh, Misty over at Luminous Fiber Arts. This is it framed. Um, I stitched this on a 14 count iridescent white. Um, and I can't remember the color I used, but I've mentioned it many times on my past videos, but I'm very, very happy with this. It's displayed in my living room, uh, my formal living room right now, and um, I love it. It just came out really, really nice. And I wish you could see the blue. The, the screen is making it look a little bit gray, but I have to tell you, this is a very soft baby blue. And I changed the called for color to the blue that I'm using here because, um, you know, I really wanted a baby blue color. So that is done. So I was very happy to get those two finished um, to share with you. I need to have a sip of water real quick. Mm. And, oh wait, before I go on to my winter uh, whip parade, let me show you this. I want to just give a shout out to Artie over at the Vintage Stitcher. Um, I didn't get a lot of cards this year. A lot of people aren't sending them anymore, but I got this absolutely beautiful handmade card by Artie at the Vintage Stitcher, and she made me this most beautiful little ornament. Just look at that. And Artie, if you're watching, this hung on my tree and it will hang on my tree every year. So thank you so much, sweetie. I appreciate it. And she's wonderful. So if you haven't subscribed to Artie's channel, be sure that you do. I think you'll love her. She's just a doll and she's got so many fun things to share. I watched her video today, um, this morning, <clears throat> while I was messing around in my office. And uh, she just did a great video on um, how to make these Christmas ornaments. And I have to tell you, they are simply adorable. So be sure to tune in and I'll link her channel below. So there we go. Um, all right, so shall we jump right into the winter uh, whip? There's a lot. So, you know, I'm kind of like that now. So what I've done is I've paused my Christmas stitching 
and I've mentioned this before, I was waiting until, you know, the holiday ended. And then, you know, we're going to be stitching the third week of every month is going to be cross stitch Christmas week, but I'll go over that in a little bit. Um, but now I'm stitching, you know, I have my, my whip parade of everything that I'll be working on this winter. Uh, and usually that is through, for me, it's January, February, and March. Um, and maybe a little bit of April. We'll see how that goes. But the very first thing is um, my new Vintage Housewife. This is by Lori Holt. It is uh, an absolutely gorgeous pattern. This just came out. It is in the shop. And I am stitching this on a 14 count uh, white. And that is how much I've done so far. So I've started um, with this where is the hanger? Which one is it? Oh, I started right here. And now I'm moving down and working on the next square, which will be right here. Uh, I just have to finish the border. I do the border first and then I'll do this. Um, but this is an absolutely beautiful pattern. And um, while I've got this up, this Lori Holt pattern, that's part of my uh, winter um, whips. Here is her new cookbook um items that just came in so she just released a brand new line of fabric called lori hold cookbook we have the five inch charm packs we have the jelly rolls we have the oh there's so much stuff on this desk if you saw it you wouldn't even believe it oh, we have the 10 inch squares and then on the back here you can see all the fabric in the collection that you'll get in this 10 inch square. There's so many things you can do with this. And then if you absolutely must have every single piece of fabric in the line, we do have the fat quarter bundles and you will receive one fat quarter of every single uh, fabric in this entire cookbook collection. And I believe that I have this on sale for now for 30% off. So um, these are quite pricey. So if you love Lori Holt and you think you might want to, you know, have this fabric in your stash, uh, you can grab it while supplies last. I don't have much. Oh, but then she also came out with, look at these. This is her Be Sweet Baking Cups. So if you like to make muffins or bake like I do, um, these little baking cups are so cute. And then she has some canning jar labels. So for those of you that might like some labels for your canning jars. And then she also came out with two um, new double triangle rulers. So here are two double triangle rulers. And her So Simple Shapes, this is for her chicken salad. These are the templates for her chicken salad quilt. So if you're participating and you are looking for the shapes, we do have these in stock. And I believe they're also um, marked out. So there you go. So I just wanted to mention that while I was going through, you know, the Lori, Lori, whoops, my Lori vintage housewife. <laughs> ah, tongue tied. Okay, my next whip that I'm working on this winter is I'm picking back up my composition florel. It is absolutely beautiful. This is how much I've done so far. I love it. I'm really looking forward to getting back to stitching this. I am stitching this on Charles Craft Sand. So this is a beautiful piece of fabric. You can see the variegated colors, uh, just very, very pretty. And I'm gonna be doing the whole series on this. And all three uh, charts are now released and available. So this is chart one. And I am going to be doing this on one piece of fabric, I think, we'll see. So there's that. Next in my whip parade for winter is Hello Winter by Stitching with the Housewives. Um, this guy got put down and last year he got lost. This year I worked on him quite a bit. Then I put him down uh, when I did Christmas. Now I'm picking him back up again but that is my little snowman. He is so precious. And this is Hello Winter by Stitching with the Housewives. And I'm stitching him on 14 count chalkboard black by Witchell. Then um, this is a new start and it's also part of my, uh, be my winter whips. This is Home of a Needleworker by Little House Needleworks. 
and I have decided to stitch this on a 14 count antique white and I've completed that much. So I've started um, right here and that's how much I've done. So it's really a great design, very pretty. When this is complete, it's gonna be in my foyer right at my front door. So when people walk into my home, they know they are in a home of a needle worker. So I'm really enjoying that. I worked on that quite a bit yesterday. Then I have another uh, start um, that I'll be stitching this winter. It's another Little House Needleworks design. It's called Winter Band Sampler. I absolutely fell in love with this when I saw it. Um, so I am stitching this. I've started it on, um, it's a 16 count beautiful beige. So, whoops, that's too big. Let me, let me fold this down. I don't know why I have such a big piece of fabric. I'm wasting fabric terribly. But that's as much as I've done so far. Um, did I drop it? Yes, I dropped it. It went somewhere. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. So it's just the alphabet that I'm starting. So I've got just the bottom part done, but it's really pretty. I love it. That's gonna be a really pretty um, finish when I have it complete to have in my home uh, for winter. So again, there it is. Okay, and that, like I said, is on Beautiful Beige by Witchell. Then um, I'm working on Nutcracker Village and we do have a Facebook group so uh, dedicated to this new series, this is by Country Cottage Needleworks, the Nutcracker Village series. Chart one and two is out. I am working on one. Um, I made a little bit of progress. I got the little girl done and I got, have the prints done. Um, so I'll be working on that and finishing that this winter. Um, I'm gonna try to keep up uh, with the group and make sure I'm stitching along with everybody. So I'm gonna try to get this part one done so I can hurry up and do part two. And then when part three comes out, um, I'll be caught up and can stitch along, um, you know, more on target with everybody that's in the group. Uh, link is below if you'd like to join us. Then another start um, I love, I, and I told you I was gonna do this uh, last year. This is the Prairie Schoolers Evergreen. I absolutely fell in love with this pattern. And I am stitching this on a 14 count natural brown by Witchell. And just look at him, isn't he beautiful? So he is the center, because I started in the center, and that's how much I've got done, and I just love it. And if you notice right here, those are like hearts. Isn't that pretty? It's just a beautiful stitch. It's gonna be gorgeous when it's complete, and I love the colors. Perfect for winter. So we have him. Then I have a new start. This is by Ari. It is called Too Sweet. Cute little snowman. I am stitching this on 14 count pewter by Witchell. And I don't know where up is. Where's up? This is up. This is as much as I've done so far. So it's really hard to gauge what it is, um, but it is basically the um, oh, I don't know. It's either his face or his, his belly. I'm not sure. But just really pretty. And I really love this fabric. It really makes the white pop. Um, and like I said, this is pewter. And it's by Witchell. And the pattern is Too Sweet um, by Ari. And I just love the cardinal, as you know. Right? Big cardinal lover over here. So there's that. Then I'm excited. I got to pick up my beautiful Remember Me by Scattered Seed Samplers. This is an absolutely beautiful design. Um, Annie over at the Proper Stitcher was the person that inspired me to start this and look at my progress. I should have this finished off, you know, by the end of the month for sure. Um, and I will be turning this into a pillow. Uh, still got to find that navy blue fabric I want for the back. Um, but there is my Remember Me, and I'm stitching this on a 14 count uh, natural uh, by Charles Craft. So if you like that, I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful stitch. I'm really enjoying it, really. Oh, everything's falling, because you have to see this desk. It's kind of scary. Okay, the next 
design in my winter stitching is going to be a country winter whoops by plum street samplers i've wanted to do this for a few years now i finally decided to start it um, i am stitching this on a gorgeous piece of 14 count iridescent pink you know that i used iridescent white uh, quite a bit in my christmas stitching uh, last year and they just so happen to have a beautiful iridescent pink and i just love it uh, as you can see there is some pink in the design the snowman and because pink is my favorite color uh, i just think this is so soft and so beautiful and i'm really enjoying it so um, that is a country winter um, like i said by plum street samplers so that's being stitched for the next few months and then I have my favorite probably of all. This is uh, Winter Wisdom by Cottage Garden Samplings. Um, I am stitching this on a 14 count light blue Ada. And I just have to tell you this, the, fab, the, the call for fabric on this is tin roof linen, there's that word, uh, by Weeks Dye Works. And as you know, if you've watched, um, Lennon and I, um, w w we're at a standstill right now. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do about linen. But for now, I'm not stitching on it. So I found this gorgeous piece of light blue linen that looks just beautiful. And I am stitching away. So I've got this done here. And then I'll move over and complete this section. Um, and hopefully when you see me next week, I'll have a little bit more done. So there you have Winter Wisdom. And then our sweet little Winter Rose Manor is by With Thy Needle and Thread. There's the chart. We are sold out. I've had a very hard time getting it. I, I order it every week, ladies. Hopefully we'll get more in. Um, I did change out the called for uh, floss on the house and I am using a different pink than what she recommended. I am using a DMC 224. Uh, that is this right here. I'll show you. It's a very, very pretty pink because I really wanted the pink in the house to stand out. So I am enjoying my Winter Rose Manor. And if you are new to the channel, I'll quickly mention uh, and then just recap for everybody. Every Tuesday, I host a sit and stitch in via Zoom where you can uh, pop on at seven o'clock and we stitch together until nine. Um, it's a lot of fun. Some weeks we have a few people, some weeks we have a lot of people. Um, some folks are stitching with us on Winter Rose Manor. Others are stitching whatever they choose. So really, it's just a chance for us all to get together and spend some time with our stitchy friends and you know get some work done on our, on our pieces. So if you'd like to join our sit and stitch in, um, you can send me an email to info at annabellas.net. I'll send you the invite. You can pop in, pop out, whatever you'd like, um, but we'd be happy to have you. So can you believe those are all my winter projects? And I'm excited about it. I have my whole family room set up. Um, I've got all my little project bags ready to go, although they're, I really need new project bags. Uh, you know, I, I can't show any project bags because I don't have any project bags. Um, all I have is the ones from Amazon, and then I have some um, that are at home with my Christmas stitching. So I need to get more, or if not, I need to start learning how to make them and sell them because uh, I know how much you guys love them, and I don't have any to share, so sorry. Um, so that is that. Those are all my winter stitches. Um, now, what we're going to do is the third week of every month, beginning the week of January 16th, which is a Sunday. So Sunday, January 16th through Saturday, January 22nd is going to be the kickoff of our cross stitch Christmas week. And uh, we're going to use that hashtag cross stitch Christmas week, which is X stitch Xmas week. Um, and I'm going to stitch just Christmas that whole week. So you'll see all of the things I was working on uh, before the holidays that didn't get finished. I'm going to do that from January through June. And each month we're going to stitch crazy all week 
uh, for Christmas so that when June comes, we've got a lot of finishes um, of things that we started in 2021 that will be done and ready to hang or give away in uh, Christmas 2022. And then in June, what happens is some of the designers start releasing their Christmas patterns. So if in June I find something or you find something that you fall in love with and you want to try to get it done by Christmas 2022, you'll have six months to do so. So that's just kind of how my mind works. Might not work for everybody that way. Um, but I'm really trying to be very focused and intentional about what I'm stitching this year so that I actually have finishes. Um, and I'm being gentle with myself and following my, my philosophy of being perfectly imperfect. You know, finishes don't have to be something that, you know, is absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous and stunning. Um, a finish can be, you know, what I do with a couple pieces that I just showed you, or I just find a pretty frame at Michael's or at Hobby Lobby and I stick it right in there. My gathering snowflakes, I didn't even have to map that. That frame came with the mat inside and I just searched until I found uh, a frame large enough to hold my gathering snowflakes without having to do anything except cut it and stick it in there. So, um, you know, be gentle with yourself when you're working on not just your cross stitch projects and your quilting and paper crafting. Uh, if you make a mistake, that's okay, but be gentle with yourself too when you're finishing your projects. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just be happy that you can, you know, display your finished work um, and take pride in that. So, all right, before I go on, let me show you some new things that came into the shop or that are coming into the shop. Um, the first is, and we've gotten a lot in, so at the end of this video, you're gonna see two segues. One segue is gonna be into our Valentine category so that you can see all of the Valentine themed designs that I hand selected for you that are now available in the shop. And then you'll also see winter stitching ideas. So there's gonna be two segues at the end of this video. Winter stitching ideas is going to include probably some of the items that I'm stitching this winter, but I'm also gonna share with you other items in the shop that I selected for you that you might wanna look at if you're looking for specifically something to stitch this winter. Um, and then of course, we're getting items in as always uh, as a shop. So a few things that are coming in, brand new by Twin Creek Primitives. This is Gold Birds Sampler. This is absolutely gorgeous. It already sold out and I've already relisted it. So check it out. Obviously on the website, the, the picture is gonna be much prettier, um, but this is by Twin Peak Primitives and it is stunning. Then we have Tiny Modernist released winter signs. Uh, it is adorable. I might, I, I hate to say that I'm not gonna stitch, add something to my pile, but I might have to add this. It is so cute. And isn't this great for winter stitching? Just look at that. So Winter Signs by Tiny Modernist. And then just in the last couple days, I gotta get a water. Just in the last couple days, um, our beautiful friend Cecilia over at Heart String, I'm sorry, Heart and Hand came out with three new designs. The first is her 2022 Collector's Heart Edition. It is gorgeous. Now this comes with the piece of linen as well as the buttons. Doesn't come with the floss, but the, her Collector's Heart Kit comes with the buttons, which you can see, as well as the piece of linen. It is beautiful, ladies. So be sure to check that out if you like her designs. She also has come out with Doodles Winter. Uh, she has a Doodle series. She has Doodles Winter, uh, Spring and Summer. Uh, I'm not sure if fall is out. I, I, I didn't check. It, it's either coming out or it's already out. But this is Doodles Winter. And then last but not least, she has absolutely kicked it out of the park with Big Hearted Tiny Town. Her Tiny Town series is very, very popular. And this one she hit out of the park. This is Big Hearted. It is absolutely beautiful. Just look at that. So there you go. Then Waxing Moon Designs fell in love with this. This is an older chart, but I'm bringing it into the shop because I've never carried it before. And I thought, oh my goodness, perfect for winter. This is called Watch It Snow. Look how cute that is. Isn't that precious? So Watch It Snow. 
by Waxing Moon. And then our sweet friends over at Stitching with the Housewives, Priscilla and Chelsea, two brand new releases. Calendar Crates, very popular series. This is Calendar Crates March, just came out in the shop. You can check it out if you'd like. We do carry all of the other uh, releases to date. So if you want to start with March, you can. If you want to pick up uh, other months, feel free. Uh, but we do carry the series and we do have a Facebook group if you'd like to stitch along with us. So that's Calendar Crates March. And then her Valentine release uh, is Roses Are Red. This is part of her new Back Up the Truck series. And that is Roses Are Red. A lot of roses, lots of roses. <laughs> So if you like that, you can go ahead and check that out too. So those are just a few of the things that have come in. Like I said, stick around to the very end if you'd like, and you'll see the segue of all the other new items that are in our Valentine's category and in our winter, winter stitching category. So now let me share with you one last uh, new item that came in, or a set of items that came in, because I know how many of you absolutely adore Teresa Kogut. Uh, she is probably one of my favorite designers. Um, Teresa released earlier, la mid-year last year, a beautiful design called For the Love of Nature. And this is a little uh, chart that comes in a booklet format and if you love nature, if you love the outdoors, if you love this color scheme, you would absolutely love this chart. I now have it back in stock. We were out for quite some time. And that's because Teresa took her For the Love of Nature chart and was able to work with Henry Glass Fabrics to create, I'm sorry, Riley Blake, I beg your pardon, uh, was able to work with Riley Blake Designs and came out with her own fabric line. I have to show you this panel. This quilt panel is absolutely stunning. So if you like to quilt, just look at this. Is that gorgeous? I probably can't even fit the whole thing in the screen. Look at that. This is gorgeous. Look at that quilt panel. Can you see it? Oh God, I don't know. Look, it's beautiful. The raccoon stole my heart. So this quilt panel, I only have 10 of them ladies. So once they're gone, they're gone because that's how much comes on a bolt. <coughs> so we have the quilt panel, water. <coughs> We also have five inch squares, 10 inch squares, <coughs> jelly roll, and the fat quarter bundle, which will have all the fabric in the design. We're not carrying the bolts. We're carrying the fat quarter bundle, the 10 inch squares, the five inch squares, and the jelly roll. And of course the quilt panel. So I just love her. I love her designs. I love the chart for the love of nature. And I just wanted to make sure that I made all of that available to you because I know so many of you do enjoy quilting and sewing. So there you go. <coughs> and then last, I apologize. I just, the weather's changing here and it just kind of makes me have like a post-nasal cough. I beg your pardon. Um, we also got in some Q-snaps. <coughs> we have the six by six, the eight by eight, and the 11 by 11. <clears throat> so if you're looking for those, <coughs> you'll be able to find them. Take a breath, right? Okay, let me see if that comes down. Okay, next what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I am going to give you our big announcement here at Annabella's. I'm kind of nervous. So I need to like not be nervous when I talk, so I'm gonna give it a second. Um, because I don't know how this is going to be received. And you know, even though I've been in business for 30 years my, as a business owner by myself, you know, not by myself, but I've always worked for myself since my oldest daughter was born. It's still kind of unnerving when I launch something, you know, I guess we all worry about what people are going to think. Are they going to like it? Are they not going to like it? And then, you know, as we look at our, our work, as we're getting ready to release, um, we think, well, is it good enough? So um, Annabella's uh, has 
we're launching today, uh, Annabelle, Annabella's Needle Art. It is going to be um, our, our design, our cross-stitch design um, of patterns that we are now releasing. And it is a collaborative effort between myself and my daughter, Charlene. My daughter, Charlene, is a beautiful artist. That is her God-given talent. When she was born, she came out with a paintbrush and a pencil in her little hand, um, and that is her gift. Um, and so Charlene and I have collaborated on our first uh, two new charts that we're releasing today um, for you. And they will be available in both PDF format and in printed format. So the first one is called Home Sweet Home. And this is Home Sweet Home. Uh, I, I stitched it, so you know I'm stitching it. Uh, that's the backing fabric, which just came out perfectly. But I just made a little pillow, and this is Home Sweet Home. And Home Sweet Home is just our first release. Uh, here is the pattern. You will receive this, as I said, either in PDF format or you can order it and we will ship it to you in printed format. Um, this particular design is stitched on beautiful beige uh, by Witchell. I used DMC floss and it is our quick stitch. So as you know, I've always kind of wanted to provide you uh, with charts that are easy and quick to stitch up uh, one month so that you have it to display the following month. So I wanted to stitch these myself rather than to send them to my model stitchers because I needed to make sure that if I'm telling you that this is a quick stitch by Annabella's, uh, which we do have right here on the chart, that these are quick stitches, that indeed <clears throat> they are a quick stitch. So very happy with how it turned out. I hope you all love it and that you will consider gifting it to a friend or stitching it yourself or adding it to your stash. But we're very, very happy with number one, which is Home Sweet Home. Then our second uh, release in our new product launch, I have to fix this bow a little bit. This is Be Mine. And Be Mine is finished on a uh, metal tin heart that I got from Hobby Lobby last year, and then a bow from Michaels with a couple uh, ribbons. Uh, but Be Mine is another quick stitch for you to stitch up in January so that you will have this to display in February. And this will be Annabella's quick stitch for the month of January. So if you uh, reached out to me, like many of you have, asking where is the quick stitch, there you go. The quick stitch for this month is Be Mine by Annabella's Needle Art, and it is available, it will be available today in the shop as both a PDF or as a printed pattern. And this is stitched on 14 count beautiful beige linen by Witchell, and I used DMC floss on this as well. Um, we do hope to release uh, two to three different designs per month. Um, we will also be um, stitching with Classic Color Works uh, as well as DMC, so you'll see that. Um, and then various types of fabric as we continue to grow on a Biddle's Needle Art. So there you go. A little nervous. Hope you like it. Um, so we're excited. You know, something new is always fun, right? And uh, being able to, you know, just immerse ourselves in this cross-stitch community and all of you that are so wonderful and so loving and so caring. You know, last time I was with you, we were celebrating our 3,000th um, subscribers. And, you know, this community, I couldn't even have imagined when I started on Bellas a year or so ago in, in the COVID, when COVID hit, um, where we would be today. And, you know, to, to be able to, you know, help my daughters put food on their table and, you know, to, to work with my husband every day and to come to all of you and, and you know, humble myself and, and thank you so much. You know, I don't want to get emotional, but, you know, thank you so much for, for coming back and for letting people know about my little shop and, you know, helping us grow. Um, I, don't, I couldn't do it without you. You know, without you, Annabelle's doesn't exist. So um, I'm happy and I'm very humbled and I am forever, forever grateful. So that is that. So thank you. Okay, so winners, who wants to talk about winning some happy mail? Everybody loves happy mail. So um, last week, 
last week, three weeks ago, on floss tube number 50. Like I said, we celebrated 3,000 subscribers, and I decided to do a big giveaway. I showed you 10 different charts uh, that we were going to give away, and we do use uh, a YouTube random comment picker. So we do have 10 winners that I'm going to announce right now. If you hear your name called, you need to do a couple of things. Number one is you must be subscribed to the channel and you must have, of course, left a comment. You have to be over 18 because I need your permission to send you mail. You know, I have to know that you're over 18. Um, you need to send me an email to info at annabellas.net um, so that I know where to mail your, your, your happy mail. Okay. And the winners are, oh, and the question was, what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Oh my goodness. If you haven't gone back to read everyone's comments, please do so. I tried to answer as many as I could. And some of you just got hearts, but know that I read every single comment. I just did not reply to every single comment because I had so many. Um, and I love you for it. Comments mean a lot. So please continue to comment and know that I'm reading everyone and I'll try to reply to all of you. Um, um, but you know, if I didn't and you got a heart, just know that I read your comment and I appreciate it. So this week's winners are Joyce Wells, Julie Roberg, Karen Mosley, The Pokey Little Pineapple, love that name, Summer West, Renee Painter, Allison Norris, Cindy Pope, Julianne Carmen and Kathleen Cannon. So thank you so much, ladies. I'm so happy that you'll get some happy mail. I will try to get it out to you uh, this week. If not, it'll all go out early next week. Um, and next week, if you want to participate, I would love to have you comment below. Who is your number one, you can only put one, favorite cross-stitch designer and why? And it can't, don't say Annabella's, don't do that, don't do that, please. But do tell me who is your number one favorite cross-stitch designer and why? So if you answer that, I'll pick some names next week and we will give away happy mail. We are going back to you being surprised. So I like to go through the shop and create a pretty little package and fill it up with little things uh, as well as a beautiful pattern that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, I don't preview it here because I, you know, I want to be a little bit different and I, I love to get things in the mail. You know, I'd love to get surprises. Like when Artie sent me this beautiful little um, Christmas ornament, I was so tickled. Um, so rather than just show you something and say, you know, pick a number, uh, I like to go through and pick something that I think you might like. And if I make a mistake, you can gift it to a friend and try again. Um, so that's what I want to know. Who's your number one, only one favorite cross-stitch designer and why? So... Wow, we had a fun time today, right? Kind of, oh, I feel like I covered so much. Um, let's see, we're having a 30% off Christmas sale, just to mention that. I don't want to sell anything, but I want to make sure you know it, because if you want to enhance your stash, 30% uh, off is pretty good, so feel free to check that out. Uh, I hope you stay tuned to the end of the video and check out some of the Valentine's items and some winter items that I have. And again, thank you so much for making last year such a wonderful year for us and for being our stitchy friends and sticking along with us on this wonderful journey. It's a wonderful community and we're so happy to be a part of it. So until next week, I hope you get to spend time with those you love, doing the things you love the most. Um, and I will see you next Friday. Thanks everybody, bye.